Pam, here's what's up. I'm going to do a test cut using the saw that I saw filed myself. Again, not the best. <laughs> Still has some spots where it's not like an actual point, but we'll see how it works. Got a straight edge here, got a janked up edge here uh, from when I was just building something and didn't really care. Gonna pop this in the vise if I can vise it correctly. Good enough. No lines, just sawing.
bit of <laughs> breakage there, but that's just poor filing tech, uh, sawing technique. So I'm used to Japanese saws, so I started kind of going at an angle and then realized I didn't have to do that. Uh, I also realized partway through that there's a bit of a kink in the plate right in the middle, like right there, which is why sometimes it was kind of wiggling that way. Um, and like trying to go one way versus the other, but like this was me using a Japanese saw where, actually no, this was me using uh, my cross, this, this same crosscut saw poorly with bad technique. And then this side is me using the crosscut saw as is. And honestly, that's, that, that's, that's a pretty straight cut, <laughs> except for the fact that it definitely started leaning one way versus the other. Um, but that's more of a kink and plate issue. Plus I, again, bad technique. I was leaning one way versus the other. Um, part of it is sawing at a bench, um, at kind of the wrong height. Um, but, um, uh, mostly it's just technique. Just got to get better at it. Um, Last time I used a Western saw, other than for sawing two by fours, uh, really, really rough, uh, was when it was like 12 or something, just goofing around with my dad's tools. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's it. No editing, no, no anything. It's, it's, it immediately, uh, did its job much better than before. And that's even with some teeth that aren't even filed all the way through in the middle. So, uh, needs a little bit more tuning up, but does great. All right. Sorry for the late video. See you around the workbench. Um, let me know what you think.